season three continues with the third game of our qualifying rounds. Who will move on? Will it be the Huskies from Gould Academy? <laughs> Or the Bulldogs from Portland High School. <laughs> Find out next on High School Quiz Show Maine. <laughs> Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plotz Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by Every day, Maine credit unions give you a new chance to make your money go further so you get ahead faster. Because with a credit union, you own a piece of the pie. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Shannon Moss. We go to the dogs on this week's show with teams featuring canines as their mascots. The Bulldogs from Portland High School are back for their second year in a row. And they will take on the Huskies from Gould Academy in Bethel. They are making their debut. Each team hopes to move on to the championship with the $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation and go on to compete in the High School Quiz Show Invitational against the champions of quiz shows in Boston, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island. So let's get started by meeting the teams. From Portland, we have Jaden, Hal, Cal, Ava, with alternates Jesse and Annie, and they are coached by Erica Lee Winship and Christine Braceris. And for Gould Academy, Josh, Zoe, David, Sam, with alternates Cindy and Frank, and they are coached by Adam Laff. And let's say a big hello to our two judges today, Angela Absher and Stephen Ferrand. Great to have both of you here today. All right, our competition has four rounds. We have the toss-up, the head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we're going to start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round where there's no point deductions for wrong answers. Players, you must wait for me to complete the question before you buzz in, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. So players, are you ready? All right, let's get started. What South American rainforest is the world's richest and most varied biological reservoir? Cal. The Amazon. That's correct. What is the only U.S. state with a single syllable name? Jaden. Maine. That's the right answer. Literally meaning rebirth, what period of European history that began in 14th century Italy saw a renewed interest in classical learning and values? David. Renaissance. That's the right answer. President Richard Nixon's eventual downfall began on June 17, 1972, with the arrest of five burglars inside what building complex in Washington, D.C.? Josh. Watergate. That's the right answer. What illustrated children's book by Eric Carle begins, In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf? Jaden. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. That's the answer. What river did George Washington famously cross on Christmas night in 1776 on his way to the Battle of Trenton? Hal. The Delaware. The Delaware River is the right answer. What two-word name refers to the skull and crossbones flag traditionally flown by the pirates? Josh. Uh, the Jolly Roger? That's the answer. In 1947, American inventor Edwin Land demonstrated what camera that produced a finished print in 60 seconds? Ava. Polaroid? That's correct. All right, this is a video question if you guys want to take a look at your monitor. 
Hello, this is Joe Hennessy. I'm an English teacher at Piscataquis Community High School in Guilford, and I'm Maine's 2019 Teacher of the Year. Here is your question. The speaker of this Robert Frost poem believes that he'll be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence while he discusses what happened in a yellow wood. It's the road not taken is the answer. Kodiak Island is a large island on the south coast of what U.S. state? How? Alaska. Alaska is the answer. About 4.6 billion years ago, our sun, earth, and solar system formed from a nebula and a spiral arm of what galaxy? The Milky How? Way galaxy. How? Yes, Sorry. the Milky Way. That's okay. All right. What city on the north shore of Long Island Sound is home to Yale University's main campus? Jaden. New Haven. New Haven is the answer. All right, we have a math question for you right now. What is 5% of 360? Jaden. 18. That's correct. Also known as Ursus americanus, what is the only bear species that is native to New England? The, bla oh, sorry. the black bear. The black bear is the answer. Which of the following great thinkers extolled the virtues of physical education and was a champion wrestler? Plato, Euclid, Archimedes. Josh. Archimedes. That is incorrect. Portland, want to take a chance? Cal? Uh, Plato. Plato is the correct answer. What British sport includes the fielding positions of wicketkeeper, square leg, and gully? Josh. Uh, croquet. That is incorrect. Portland? Hal. Cricket. Cricket is the right answer. Tirana is the capital of what European country? Albania is the answer. All right, we have a picture question if you want to take a look at your monitor. Located 12 nautical miles off the main coast, this island is a stopover for many migrating birds and also home to a thriving artist community during the summer months. What is its name? Hal. Monhegan. That's the answer. In 2014, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling said that Hermione should have married Harry rather than whom? Sam. Ron. Ron is the answer. Which of the following is a genetic condition caused by the presence of an extra chromosome? Huntington's disease, Down syndrome, or sickle cell anemia? Uh, Zoe. Down syndrome. That is the answer. What is the most widely grown crop in the United States, accounting for more than 90% of total value and production of feed grains? Wheat. Sam. I'm sorry? Wheat. No, it is incorrect. Portland. Cal. Corn. Corn is the answer. What is the easternmost national park in the continental U.S.? David. Acadia. Acadia is the answer. Although a slaveholder himself, what hero of Texas independence was against the spread of slavery and was the only Southern governor to oppose secession? Cal. Samuel Houston. That's the answer. The number of countries that make up the Balkan Peninsula nearly doubled in 1992 as a result of the breakup of what country in Eastern Europe? Hal. Yugoslavia. That's the answer. The Cretan bull, which was the father of the Minotaur, was captured by what mythical strongman as one of his 12 labors? David. Hercules. That's the answer. The term Dark Ages was coined by what 14th century Italian scholar who is considered the father of humanism? Hal. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. That is incorrect. Gould Academy. Josh. Uh, Galileo Galilei. It's Petrarch is the answer. Daniel Boone was the inspiration for the Natty Bumpo character in what 1826 novel by James Fenimore Cooper? The Last of the Mohegans. And that is the buzzer. So that signals the end of the round, the first round. And the scores are Portland with 160 points. Gould Academy has 70 points. And we're going to be the players. And we're going to go head to head when we come back. Stay with us, everyone. <laughs> Trees are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. We are about to go head to head, but before we do that, we always like to ask a special question for our players to get to know them a little bit. So here we go. Jade, we're going to start with you. In your opinion, what is the most underrated food and what is the most overrated food? 
Um, I think that strawberries are overrated and grapes are underrated. Okay. Why strawberries overrated? I don't know. I just think everyone likes them and they're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good answer. All right, Hal. Uh, I think the most underrated food is broccoli on pizza, and I think the most overrated food is any kind of white fish. Okay. All right. Except for haddock, though. Haddock's so good. All right, Cal? I think the most underrated food is green beans, and the most overrated food is pumpkin pie. I agree with you on that. I'm a big fan of the pumpkin pie. All right, Ava? I think Brussels sprouts are super underrated, and I think avocado's overrated. I, do, I agree with that. I had Brussels sprouts actually last week and they were really good. I was, I was fearful of them, but they're not bad. Okay, Josh? Uh, I definitely think the most overrated food is cake. And uh, the most underrated food is uh, anything my mom makes. Uh. <laughs> or oh. mushrooms. Those are good too. <laughs> <laughs> right up there, tied. Okay. Zoe, what about you? Well, I think um, broccolis are overrated and salmon is underrated. <gasps> I agree. Grilled salmon, so good. All right, David? Yeah, I think that in terms of what's overrated, probably paella. Mm -hmm. But what's underrated, my brother's food, Chef Andre Inikiv, pretty good. Oh, excellent. Sam? I would say the most overrated food is pizza, and the most underrated is sushi. Okay, good answers. Makes you think, that's for sure. All right, good luck to all of you when we go head-to-head, -head, because that round's coming up next, right after we check out the Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. I'm Elise Baldacci from Maine's Credit Unions. We'll go back to high school quiz show Maine in a moment, but first, let's see how you do on Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. The world's first ATM that could dispense cash from a customer's own account was put into public use in what year? Was it 1967, 1975, or 1982? Stay tuned for the answer later in the show. We are about to go head to head. I've got gold to my left, Portland to my right. You guys want to shake hands to start? Excellent. Okay, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. Now, you don't have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in at any time. So let's set that clock at 90 seconds and let's go. What 1995 Disney movie begins and ends at a location called Pride Rock? Portland. Lion King. That's right. What number is represented by the Roman numeral L? Portland. 50. 50 is the right answer. Name the process by which green plants transform light energy into chemical energy. Portland. Photosynthesis. That's the right answer. What Cold War conflict is sometimes referred to as the Forgotten War? Uh. It's the Korean War. How many major islands make up the nation of Japan? Portland. Three. Four is the answer. The mitral valve is normally found on which side of the human heart? Portland. Right. It's the left. Mount Shasta is a double peaked volcano located in the northern part of what U.S. state? Uh. California. Roald Dahl book. What Roald Dahl book was originally titled James and the Giant Cherry? Portland. James and the Giant Peach. That's the right answer. What 1852 novel, sometimes called America's first protest novel, was written by Harriet Beecher Stowe? Portland. Uncle Tom's Cabin. That's the right answer. What English duke defeated Napoleon at the historic Battle of Waterloo in 1815? Uh. Duke of Wellington is the answer. In most mammals, what sex-determining chromosome is present only in males? Portland. Why? That's the right one. What country on the Bay of Bengal was formerly known as East Pakistan? Bangladesh is the answer. What founding father was the author and key champion of the U.S. Bill of Rights? That is the buzzer. Portland, you have 200 points. Gould Academy, 70 points. Stay with us, everyone. Our category round is coming up next. Next up is our category round with the following choices. Car Talk, When in Rome, On the Rocks, I Declare, Fictional Places, and A Capital Idea. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Now, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you can no longer confer, and we're going to need your answer. And like in the toss-up round, if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given the chance to answer. So, Gould Academy, you're behind by just a little bit, so you get to choose first. What category would you like? Car talk. Car talk it is. Okay, questions about cars. And this is for 10 points. I will build a car for the great multitude. Henry Ford said this about what model introduced in 1908 as the first affordable car for the mass market. 
Sam. Model T. That's the answer. What would you like next? Where are we going? Um, car talk. We're going to stay with car talk. Okay, and this is for 15 points. What motor company makes the DMC-12 a sports car notable for its doors that hinge from the roof and for serving as the time machine in the Back to the Future movies? Josh. The DeLorean? That's the answer. What do you think? Where do you want to go next? Um, let's stick with car talk. We're going to stick with car talk. All right, this one's for 20 points. By law, every car produced in the United States since 1975 must include what vehicle emissions control device? Josh. Uh, carbon emissions? That's incorrect. Portland, you want to give it a try? <laughs> the catalytic converter is the answer. And Gould, you still have control of the board, so where would you like to go next? Car talk, please. Loving car talk. All right, 25 points. More than 90% of all new cars sold in Brazil use what fuel that is produced from sugarcane? Cal. Biofuel. That's incorrect. Gould, you want to take a shot at it? David. E85. That is incorrect. The answer is ethanol. Gould, you still have control of the board. What would you like next? Go with a capital idea. A capital idea. This is a new category. Questions about U.S. capital cities, and this is for 10 points. What city is home to the U.S. Naval Academy? The answer was Annapolis. And Gould, you still have control of the board? Car talk, please. All right, car talk for 30 points. This will wrap up this category. Almost all cars convert gasoline into motion with a four-stroke combustion cycle. Intake, compression, combustion, and what? Cal. Exhaustion. Cal, I'm sorry, what's again? Exhaustion. Yep, that's the answer. Portland, you have control of the board now. When in Rome. When in Rome. A new category questions about ancient Rome. This is for 10 points. Identify with the Greek god Hephaestus. What Roman god of fire and blacksmiths worked in a forge beneath Mount Etna? Josh. Vulcan. That's the answer. And Gould, you have control of the board again. Where are uh, we going? When, we'll go with when in Rome again. When in Rome. This is for 15 points. During the Second Punic War, what general assembled a huge army of foot soldiers, horse soldiers, and elephants that crossed the Alps to invade Italy from Spain? Josh. Hannibal. That's the answer. Where'd you like to go next? Uh, let's stick with when in Rome. All right, we're going to stick with when in Rome. This is for 20 points. In 60 BC, Julius Caesar joined with two other generals, Pompey and Crassus, to form what political alliance that means rule of three? Josh. Triumvirate. That's the answer. You want to continue on or? Yep. All right, when in Rome for 25 points. Constantine was the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity. In 391 AD, what emperor made Christianity the official religion of the empire? Theodosius is the answer. And Gould, you still have control of the board. Uh, we're going to go with when in Rome again. All right, we're going to wrap up this category. When in Rome for 30 points. The sack of Rome in 410 AD, an event that symbolized the fall of the Western Roman Empire, was led by what Visigoth king? Uh, Alaric is the answer. And Gould, you still have control. Capital idea. All right, capital idea for 15 points. The Georgia O'Keeffe Museum is located in what city whose name means holy faith in Spanish? Uh, Santa Fe is the answer. All right, Gould, what do you think? A capital idea. All right, capital idea for 20 points. In 1847, what city was founded by Brigham Young as a refuge from religious persecution? Cal. Salt Lake City. That's the answer. Portland, you have control of the board. What do you think? Capital idea for 25. Okay, capital idea for 25 points. On March the 2nd, 1775, more than a year after the Boston Tea Party, what city on Narragansett Bay had its own tea party? Providence is the answer. Portland, you still have control of the board. Capital idea for 30. All right, I'm going to wrap up this category. A capital idea for 30 points. What is the only southern capital located on the Mississippi River? Uh, Baton Rouge is the answer. Portland, what do you think? What new category are we going to head to? We do on the rocks for 10? Of course we can. On the rocks. These are questions about Rocks. <laughs> okay, this is for 10 points. Of the three major rock types, which type is marble? Cal. Igneous. That is incorrect. Gould? Josh. Metamorphic. That's the answer. Gould, what, would you, what do you think? Where would you like to go? 
Stick with On the Rocks. All right, On the Rocks for 15. Rising more than 3,000 feet and a favorite among rock climbers, El Capitan is the largest granite monolith in North America. It is located in California in what national park? David. Yosemite. That's the answer. What do you think? Where are we going? Stick with On the Rocks. All right, On the Rocks for 20. Which of these rocks, sandstone, granite, or basalt, forms most of the ocean floor? Josh. Um, basalt. That's the answer. All right, what do you think? We're going to stick with the same category? Yes, indeed. All right, on the rocks for 25 points. Basalt appears dark in color because it contains large amounts of magnesium and what other metal? Uh, iron is the answer. Okay, Gould, what do you think? Let's go with fictional places. All right, fictional places, a new category. Questions about fictional places. <laughs> <laughs> this is for 10 points. In Arthurian legend, what castle was the seat of King Arthur's court? Cal. Camelot. That's the answer. Okay, Portland, what do you think? Fictional places. Fictional places for 15 points. Portrayed as one of the largest and wealthiest cities on earth, what fictional city is the home of Clark Kent and Superman? Cal. Metropolis. That's the answer. What do you think? Fictional places for 20. I'm going to continue on with fictional places for 20 points. In the Hunger Games trilogy, District 12 is the poorest district of what nation? Jaden. Pan Am. That's the answer. What do you think? Where do you want to go? Um, fictional places. We're going to stick with fictional places. This is for 25 points. In George Orwell's book, 1984, prisoners are subjected to their own worst fears in what dreaded room in the Ministry of Love? It's room 101, and Portland, you still have control of the board. Fictional places for 30. I'm going to wrap up this category, fictional places for 30 points. In his 1933 novel, Lost Horizon, James Hilton describes what mystical valley in the Himalayas that is synonymous with earthly paradise. Cal. Shangri-La. That's the answer. And that's the buzzer. So that ends our category round. Let's take a look at our score. Portland has 290 points. Gould Academy has 140 points. And our final round is coming up next where anything can happen because that is the lightning round. Stay with us, everyone. More High School Quiz Show Maine coming up, but first, let's see the answer to this week's question. The world's first ATM that could dispense cash from a customer's own account was put into public use in what year? Was it 1967, 1975, or 1982? The answer is 1967. The world's first ATM as we know them today was first used in London in June of 1967. America's first ATM opened in Rockdale Center, New York in September of 1969. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. This is the lightning round. Now, players, you get 20 points for correct answers, but incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. So let's set that clock, and here we go. What is the scientific term for the thigh bone? Ava. Femur. Femur is correct. What four-letter word is the Japanese term for a martial arts studio? Cal. Dojo. That's correct. In the mid-1800s, many Irish immigrated to the United States because of the failure of what crop? Uh, Hal. Potato. Potato is the right answer. The Red Sea is an inlet of what ocean? Cal. Uh, uh, Indian. Indian is correct. What American president founded and designed the University of Virginia? Jaden. Thomas Jefferson. That's the answer. What treaty signed by British and American representatives in Belgium ended the War of 1812? Treaty Cal. of Ghent. Cal? Treaty of Ghent. That's the right answer. Name the author of this dystopian fantasy novel, Brave New World. Jaden. Aldous Huxley. That's the right answer. In the mid 19th century, Great Britain fought what country in the Opium Wars? David. China. China is the answer. Who painted the old guitarist and Guernica? Picasso. What city founded by the Phoenicians is the capital and largest city of Libya? Jaden. Tripoli. That's the answer. Lockjaw is caused by what bacterial disease that begins with the letter T? Pal. Tetanus. Tetanus is the answer. Located south of Eureka, Cape Mendocina is the westernmost point of what, what U.S. state? 
David. Kansas. That is incorrect. It's California. That is the buzzer. And our winning team is Portland with 470 points. They will be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. School Academy with 140 points. Great game. I hope we see you back here next year. Players, thank you all for playing. And next week, stay with us because Greeley will take on Bangor. So stay with us, everyone, for that. And thank you so much for watching High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation. The Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation. Plots Associates. Bernstein Schur. And by... Take a moment and change your life. Join a Maine credit union. At a credit union, you're an owner. And a credit union gives back to its owners. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you.